I'm not good at that Kim sound, but I know how to do it. Uh, yeah, but, um, it's Flashburn Beatbox again, and, uh, welcome to the next segment. Of course, I don't really know why I'm breaking these into segments, because I'm just uploading them all at once. But, uh, this is, I guess, the sound effects, um, tutorial series. Not to be conf confused with sit effects tutorial series. Um, I will be covering each of those sounds in a tutorial, uh, probably in that order. Um, starting with, I guess, the sit effects sound, you know, the sit effects scratch. I've gotten enough uh, comments and messages about the Sid effects scratch and I didn't want to do it originally because I'm good friends with Sid and I wasn't sure if he wanted me to uh, make a tutorial about it um, yeah uh, I kinda just learned it from him uh, he said I do it pretty well though and he, he gave me I guess he gave me his permission to put this up and he is just cause he never made one um, I know I think I've seen one other tutorial for it, but the the one that I'm most common with is uh, there's another UK beatboxer. His name is Crumpus, uh, Crumpets. Yeah, um, he he battled side effects. I'm pretty sure. Um, he he made the video. Uh, everybody kind of complains that uh, he didn't make it very ex he didn't make it very expository or explanatory. So I guess I'm here to take my own shot at it. But basically, so a side effect scratch. Sometimes I do it better than others. So, this is a very requested sound done by Sid FX from the UK. If you haven't seen him, you should check him out. I'll link him. Um, so, uh, the start, the very first thing you should learn, and I'm not going to do a full in-depth tutorial on this, is you should need to know how to do the helicopter click roll. And, you know what? You should just know how to do a helicopter click roll because you can do so many sounds with it. Here's a few. Uh, yeah, just stuff like that. Just all those crazy rolling sounds. Like, sometimes it go... <laughs> My computer just made a sound. But anyway. So, uh, learn the helicopter click roll, and I guess for a short refresher for some people who, I guess, know it but don't for some reason. Doesn't make any sense. Um, you do a click roll, like, if you know how to do a click roll, but you have to breathe it in. So just relax and go. Or, I guess with your mouth open, it's more like... But you allow your lips to kind of flap and break up the sound. Or just breathe uh, slower. And your lip position will be very important for this. So, um, helicopter cl click roll... There, the sound's really only two components. Helicopter click roll, mouth position. It, it seems very complicated when you first see it, but it's actually very simple once you learn it, and you're kind of like, oh, this is actually, how did it take so long to learn this? So basically, um, I guess I'll cover probably one of the most important parts is, or one of the two parts, is uh, the mouth position. So, uh, if you see sometimes in Sid's videos, I think it's Sid's videos, um, he just kind of does a single uh, scratch sound, just um, it, it sounds a lot less interesting when it's just the but when you you know when you uh, wobble the scratch when you roll the scratch it sounds really interesting so the way you do this um, oh yeah so here, here's a shortcut for everybody if you've watched my see if you watched my sonic boom tutorial which I need to redo by the way because that uh, um, if you watch my sonic boom tutorial um, you know the mouth position is like <laughs> <laughs> like that. Very, very similar. That. <laughs> it's almost the exact same thing. It's just um, inward and more closed. So, um, take the mouth position you get from going. <laughs> like that. Notice the fact that it's like. 
the low, my lower lip is kind of like folded back over my teeth. <laughs> this will also come in handy for my laser tutorial, which is coming next, I think. Um, yeah, so take that. <laughs> but I want you to... Um, my lips kind of like open open a little bit like that. Uh, that's not a good example. It's, it's kind of open like a little bit of a circle in the middle. I want you to make it more flat. So instead of... Or you just like more flat over the top. Just like that. That was pretty good. Um, it could also help depending on where your tongue is. So if your tongue is just kind of, um, kind of flat and so it's almost like you're sucking air like over over your bottom lip by guiding it with like the, how your lip is folded and almost like with your tongue and that's how you interrupt it. Like. You can just go, just literally pulling the, pulling the, your tongue off the top of your mouth. Yeah, that's another way to do it. I need to go over the alternate way to do this, but um, yeah, you can uh, just, um, you need to learn how to do the helicopter quick roll. I'm not gonna go into that, like I said, but you just have to make sure you get this mouth position. Um, I remember when I was practicing it, I was away for summer for a while and I had nothing to do, so I was just practicing the sound. It sounded like this for, mo for most of the time. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't really get any sound. Um, you want to make sure you have your lips, don't let your lips flap around like... Like, don't let your lips flap around. And I can't even do what I did last time, well, before I knew how to do it. But originally it just sounded kind of like... It just sounded like air coming through, or and my lips weren't tight enough. You just want to make sure you have the. Make sure you have. Is to fold your lips back. If you if you hear like a little bit of a like a swoosh or just whatever air sound, if you can hear that, that's that's good. That means you're on the right track. And I mean, you should even just practice just going like. Just with whatever mouth position you have, because you could even find a new sound. But, anyway, if you just, um, if you practice with the, or, just find the right position. You're, you're, hmm, it's about, it's about this far back. Like, um, your upper lip will almost, like, go over where your teeth were. Just, you have to make sure you leave that little gap. And, um... Basically, the, oh yeah, so the way this works, by the way, is uh, when, you, when you're pulling in the air, like that, um, the, the way you're pulling in the air over, overlapping your lips, it diverts the air around your tongue and it, it makes that, the air like crashes against it, itself, which is almost the same way when you go, um, it's basically the same principle, it's air clashing, which makes the scratch sound. Um, yeah, just, I would, it's really... Hard to explain because it's so simple, but basically just practice. Just keep practicing making this face. I'm just going. I mean, there's some days when I can't even do it. I mean, well, I can do it a little bit maybe, but like some days it's really awesome. Like if I'm doing it in beat, sometimes it's really good. Or sometimes when I'm just practicing, it's terrible. Just if I'm doing like a sit effects loop, like. Um. Yeah, just really, just practice going. Find you have to just find find it, find that uh, perfect win point. To be honest, there's really not much I can tell you. I've been rambling on for enough, so on to ball Z. And remember this mouth position. Also, um, the mouth position of the sonic boom. <laughs> All three of those sounds are connected. Observe. <laughs> See, it's like almost the same thing in the entire time. Anyway, laser.